Here we have a new brushless, substantial, short course looking truck. It does look like it had quite the adventure in its shipping journey. Almost every corner is creased up a little bit. Hopefully the car is okay. These are supposed to be pretty fast, so I'm really excited. We're gonna go ahead and test drive it first. Then we'll do a bench review. So we're gonna open it up right now. All right, it's a nice little 14th scale truck bag of stuff and a controller like i said we'll do our bench review in a minute we're just going to slap some batteries in here i'm going to check out what kind of battery we're sporting first the 2s lithium ion with a 15c discharge we're going to see how it goes if it's too slow i'm going to put a faster one in it so of course we're going to check all the performance aspects like speed handling durability i will say they do not mention a speed on the box which is wonderful because they always lie Those extra spares on the back really help it hold wheelies. Oh, oh that was cool. go with the speed test just gonna shove it in here in the driver's lap uh, 29.2 oh no <laughs> just a spare yeah it looks like it's gets screwed on from the bottom nothing nothing broke the screw just pulled out it needs a washer on it First mod in the books. Well, it's gonna be anyway. Oh Let's check the brakes. Oh. Hey, not bad. Oh, <laughs> good thing I got steel toe boots on. Oh. I got the other tire back on. Oh. oh man again the screw's still in yeah no it's a, it didn't break it just pulls out of the body they should have used a slightly larger head screw This thing is a blast. This is a fun car. Highly recommend. <laughs> you caught that? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> what do you think of this car, dude? It is the best of all we have. 
Well, and I don't know about that, but it's pretty darn good for sure. Wheel damage. Let me see the wheel damage. Ooh, we're gonna fix that. Well, we have a spare and another spare uh, oh. over here somewhere. This is definitely getting added to my list of favorite RC cars. This was a total blast with very minimal damage, pretty much just this wheel, and it did break completely. But once that happened, that tire started rolling and it's causing the car to barrel roll a whole lot more. Now we ran three full battery packs through this. The one that it came with, then we ran this guy in here, which has a much higher C rating, 35 C over the 15 C. And throughout the 20 minutes of runtime that gave it, the ESC shut down about three times. It's a little bit too much power. We did not lose any body clips, by the way. And then we ran it with this battery here, which is a 30C, and it did not cause it to shut down at all. And that gave pretty similar performance than what this one did, which was a little bit better than that stock battery. There is a wire for these headlights, so be careful when you go to take the body off. The body is completely reinforced with a giant, uh, plastic thing the spare tires mount through the plastic and so do all four body posts like we pointed out earlier the spare tires just use a screw but they're really small screws they just need a washer or a larger head screw and then that will be solved despite all the really pretty nasty crashes there's very little body damage a couple cracks right here and uh well, that's it. We've got a really good sized brushless motor in here. Obviously a much needed wheelie bar does a great job keeping it from flipping over, but also holding wheelies for a good amount of time. Flexible plastics, and I love my flexible plastics. A 35 amp ESC, metal drivetrain with metal diff cups, and the box shows that it has metal differentials as well. Feels like the rear has stronger springs than the front does, so they've tuned that pretty well. Even though these shocks are just friction, they're not oil filled at all, they perform pretty well. It's a little bit bouncy, but overall, I really like the way this car handled. The differentials are really loose. They could definitely use some fluid. Fixing that and maybe putting some oil filled shocks on here would probably make it an even better drifter. Oh, and maybe slightly less grippy tires and possibly some more durable ones, but this took a whole lot of tumbles before that happened. Maybe we'll just put these on there. Even has a metal full length brace over top of the chassis right above the metal center drive shaft. They even went so far as to put foam underneath the ESC and it's squishy too. You don't usually see that much care put into these cheaper RCs and when it comes to cheap RCs, this one's cheap. I would not expect this to be the price point that it is. I'm glad that it is, I think it's awesome helps people get into the hobby. Obviously it's not much of a jumper and that's okay. It didn't, it doesn't need to be. The controller comes with three different speeds, high, medium, and low. Even the medium speed is still pretty fast, but low is rather slow. So you can teach the beginners and the kids on this thing. It's got steering controls. It does have orange lights there and regular lights there. It has red lights in the back. Comes with an extra bumper. I uh, don't know why. Maybe maybe that's actually to put on the back if you want to take the wheelie bar off. Charger for the battery. Oh, it actually comes with some shock preload shims. Extra body pans. Even though they're not the extra bent ones that come on the body in the box. Screwdriver and wheel nut wrench. Owner's manual shows a couple other different body styles. and Exploded parts diagrams with all your part numbers. And a full-on catalog of parts for it. So that's all awesome and everything. Now the question is, where can you get parts? Because none of the literature or the box shows a website, a phone number, or an email. Huh. Well, if you go to rccarsparts.com, type in the part number, they are available. But it's going to say that it's for an SCY16103. Same as the one they show here, 16103. You got the chassis, the chassis brace in two different colors, which they call the metal second floor. But in the meantime, I have sent JJRC an email or a Facebook message asking them if they have parts for their actual vehicles. So if they respond to me, I'll probably put something in the comments or in the description of the video. But otherwise, it looks like parts are available. I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the notification bell and we will see you very soon with the next one.